Christmas is right around the corner. So I was out Christmas shopping, trying to buy some of y'all presents. So I'm walking around a dollar store and I ran across this toy. And it reminded me of an analogy that I like to use when I'm trying to explain to my fighters how technique works and how it can work for you and why it fails you often. So I bought this so that I can illustrate my point a little clearer for you guys. So the toy is this. So it's this little thing that kids play with where it has like all the, you got, yeah, there we go. You have all the little shapes and the idea is that you fit the shapes into the shapes. <laughs> so these shapes will represent given circumstances. So in every fight, there's given circumstances and those circumstances could be anywhere, whether it's wrestling, jiu-jitsu, uh, boxing, kicking, whatever it is. Those are your given circumstances. Now, technique works like this. For every given circumstance, there's going to be a technique for it. Your goal is to find the technique that matches the given circumstance. Now, if these are the given circumstances, I got this plus sign, bang, there's my plus sign. It fits exactly in the way it should. So if this is the given circumstance, this is the technique. Now look at the technique. The technique is shaped and formed properly, which means that you're actually able to do the technique. So when the given circumstance arises, it fits exactly. Now, where you guys have problems is that you have a hard time, most people, if you can actually do the techniques right, and that's another situation where guys just can't even actually do the technique right, but if you can actually do the technique right, the idea is that you're able to recognize the given circumstance when it's available to you, because sometimes it's only available to you for a split second. And you can control that with setups and so on and so forth, but sometimes it's only available to you for a split second. So for instance, um, calls for the plus sign and you know in a fight it can be sometimes seem unpredictable and it moves around different speeds so the idea is that i take the technique and fit it into the given circumstance when it's called for now here's the problem where, uh, where most of you guys have a problem is that for every technique there are steps involved so when you're trying to employ that technique during them steps, the given circumstances sometimes change if you didn't get to the technique fast enough, and it'll change. So what happens is as it changes, you're still trying to fit the same technique into a different given circumstance. So for instance, if I have this and it changes to the circle, because I didn't do it fast enough or smooth enough, it changed, I can no longer use this technique for the given circumstance. And once you're able to recognize that, then you can change and you can adapt and you can change your technique to the one for the new given circumstance. And oftentimes this principle is not reinforced by your coaches and training partners because I see it all the time. You're, you got a, a fighter in on a double leg and he's almost got it. It was a good shot, but the the person he shot on defended. And what do, what do we say? Go harder, go harder, go harder. But the idea, that's the wrong idea. The right idea would be to switch the technique to the right one, for instance. So if the technique called for a circle, I fit it in a circle, but in the process of me fitting this in a circle, it changed. It changed to this other little shape. So I have to change with it. I have to be able to change with it. So that's the way technique works. If it doesn't work, that means it's not the right technique or you did it at the wrong time. Because here's my saying, every technique works if you do it right at the right time. Let me say that again so you can understand what I'm saying. Every technique works if you do it right at the right time. If you do it right at the wrong time, guess what? It doesn't work. If you do it wrong at the right time, it's obviously not going to work. But sometimes in the process of doing a technique, it changes. Your circumstances change. So don't force the technique when the circumstances change. You have to learn how to read the, the situation and adjust accordingly. That's how your technique's gonna work. I remember when I was coming up, people would say that certain fighters were too technical. And I allowed myself to believe that. And then, you know, now that I study the game more, I look back and I go, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Uh, there's no such thing as being too technical. And the reason why people would say that is because like certain fighters are trying to 
use one technique or one series of techniques on every given circumstance. And of course, it's not going to work because you have to be able to have techniques for every given circumstances. But trying to force, you know, like if you're a guard player and you're trying to force that into, you know, into a fight, that's just stupid. That's not being too technical. That's just stupid. The idea is that you want to have techniques for every situation. They're going to, uh, they're going to change. So you have to be able to have variables and variations to your techniques and be able to change when the given circumstances change. So I hope you guys are listening and taking heed to the words that I say. Um, next time you train, think of my analogy. Don't force your techniques in because all that's going to happen is you're going to end up getting stuck trying to do a force a move in, waste a lot of energy, and you're going to think it's your conditioning. It's not your conditioning. It's your stupidity for not changing the technique. Anyway, well, um, I appreciate you guys listening to me, and I'm going to catch y'all next week.